Hello and good evening. <laughs> Welcome to the Tuesday show. This is Esther at Stampin' Star Creations. .uk. This is your friendly card making crafter. I don't know, just making it up as I go along, as per usual. Thank you for joining me tonight. I'm going to do a bit of masking. I usually come on here and say, I'm not going to be long and <laughs> end up staying for an hour. But I do feel particularly jaded today, I feel a bit weary and tired, so we'll see, see how long this lasts. Um, I was inspired by Ruth's masking yesterday, I thought, oh, I fancy doing a bit of masking, but I'm going to do something a bit different, inspired by Gina Kay. Some of you may know her, she's uh, very popular on YouTube and she's got her own products. But I'm here to use some Stampin' Up! products tonight, namely the new masking paper. So, in my machine in front of me, I've gone ahead and cut out some shapes. I was going to cut some more, but they wouldn't fit on the paper. So, I've cut out just a simple circle and a square. And then I was going to cut out maybe um, another smaller circle and square in case I needed them. So I'll do that now. I hope you're well. I was going to just call up my other device so that I can keep track of the old comments. And I can say hello to those coming in live. <laughs> okay, I'm on a new device tonight. I don't know if you can notice the change in picture. It's rather exciting. So I'm going to... I know it's too difficult to do things sideways, so I'm going to do it this way instead. So, I hope you don't mind, I've got the fan going in the background, or else I'll absolutely swelter. Um, it's not giving me much coolness, but a little bit. Okay, and these are with these new sort of stitched die shapes here, which I'll give you the name of in a minute. They're simply called Stylish Shapes dies. There we go, there we go. Um, and so that's that. Let's do the quick register and then I'll grab some card. There's one piece. <laughs> let's find some more. Okay, let's see if we can get some more cards. And uh, let's find a cleaner sheet. This will do because it's going to get covered in colour anyway. Okay. Am I coming through loud and clear? I hope I am. Let's just fix the settings. Aut I don't know why, but it automates to the, one of the lowest settings and it's makes me feel like I can't see anything. So if it's, I set it to about 360, if you tap and go to the wheel and go to quality, I've put it at 360, that's perfect for my screen. So let's say hello to Valerie and Mindy, Sally, Joe, it skipped, just as I was reading, it skipped, and Jan and Wanda, Judy and Margaret, hey, hey, Levine. And Ellie, and Jan, and Mindy, and Judy, and Shaz. I'm on a quick break. We're moving furniture. Oh, Jan. Hi, Subu. Hi, ages since I caught your life says. Hi, Judy. Good. Right. I've got my big drink of... I've got some tonic water and orange juice. Very refreshing. Lots of ice cubes. Okay, you haven't come to see that. <laughs> now, on Gina Kay's one or somebody else's, they did this really cool design in this sort of bottom corner. Now, our masking paper, you'll find, needs a bit of tacky taken off. If that gets stuck straight down, it does tend to peel your, um, your work. So... A nice way to take off a bit of tacky is just to put it on your skin, really, um, so that it will definitely peel away afterwards. So I'm going to pop it 
into the bottom corner. You want it tacky enough to stick, but not tacky enough to pull your paper. Oh, some colours are jumping out at me. Some pinks and blues and maybe a hint of purple in between. Let's go for that. Although I've been moving some colours around. So we'll go in with some starry sky. And work it into this corner here. Take your time. Blending is about building up the colour and not about putting it all down in one go. And then I'm going to come to Orchid Oasis. Which is a nice sort of lighter blend from the blue. Now I've not actually tried this, I'm kind of experimenting on the, on the go. So would it be purple then pink? I guess the pink will merge into the purple, wouldn't it? So let's go freesia. Hey Wendy, thanks for asking how I am. I'm okay, I'm a little bit tired actually. I've had my brain's been <laughs> my brain's been a bit busy today. <laughs> Not used to that. <laughs> I've just been trying to get ahead. Um sorting out a few designs for upcoming things and yeah I'm feeling quite tired I think being on holiday I think I spat on my paper did I no something else I didn't spit on it something else <laughs> um yeah I think just when you're on a break or having a holiday you tend to well I tend I'll speak for myself I tend to go to bed a bit later, whereas I probably shouldn't do that. I probably should just go to bed at a decent time and get up early. But that doesn't really happen. So. Self-inflicted tiredness as usual. So this is good. I hope you're getting a nice clear picture. Um, a little bit of smudging there. But... Now what you've got to be careful of is when you do it on top of another colour, sometimes it does pick up on the colour. Okay, so we've got this cool, fun background. Let's see what's going to happen when we <laughs> get our nail in the ink. No, that's not what we're doing. We. <laughs> Good morning, Anne. Uh, hi, Claire. Good morning from a very cold minus 11 degrees. I just couldn't imagine that. So let's peel back this and see what we're left with. It's got these cute little dots come through from the um, from the dye. That's okay. And I wanted to do some kind of meadowy, silhouette type stamps, she says. So I'm going to grab out, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they're all shouting at me going, pick me, pick me. Um, okay, so I'm looking at one and another one's jumping out at me, but then, okay, let's stick with this. I don't know if I've gone too far, but we'll soon find out. Could maybe do my stamp at this point. Got a nice black, deep black colour. Might come in afterwards with that because I wanted it to be a bit closer. Okay, let's see how we get on with this. So this is from Honey Bee Home. I wanted to have like a, a 
silhouette of a meadow type thing going on. Okay, that's good. Now I'm wondering whether to bring in quiet meadow. Love the dotage, it's dotage. <laughs> I know what you mean, it's very dotage, isn't it? The dotage in this set. So I'm using the stamparatus because if I stamped it once, you'd get this kind of colour. But if you go in a second time, you can really get that ink saturated back in the same place, which is nice. Now, I did want it more to be a silhouette. So, do I? I could. Um, go over it with should I go over it with maybe like a navy marker or even a black marker or should I leave it as it is you let me know while I carry on putting some more meadow flowers in here Okay, that's good. I like that. And then I think we can afford to have some dots and spots. I'm going to come off in this direction a little bit. And Maybe a sentiment, which we can do afterwards. So Supu reckons I should use black marker and actually black it out so it's like a proper silhouette. Then I'm thinking a thinking of you sentiment. Now the great thing about the stamparatus is that I can flip my windows around and so you technically you've got four sides to use now that doesn't look very straight to me try that again is this my non-straight stamp i think it is oh well we'll just we'll just go for it <laughs> Sometimes the way it's cut is ever so slightly, that definitely looks a little skew with to me. Let's just, I haven't got any scrap paper around here. Uh, okay, let's try this. I don't want to risk it now that it's in there. Yeah, that looks, that looks fairly straight. It may, might be a little bit ever so slightly off. Black Wink of Stella. Do you mean dip it in the black and then do some Wink of Stella? Or are you saying that's like Black Wink of Stella? Got tiniest of smudges. So, I'm going to get my black marker. Maybe we should try it with like just a few. See? What do we reckon? Should we cover it all in? I think once you start, you can't do a bit of it, you've got to do all of it. Or else it look a bit odd. So you could leave it without, or you could do what I'm doing and colour it in. So you've got a silhouette. Which is another fun way of being able to use your stamps. So 
So has anybody tried this technique before where you kind of do some blending and then you add a silhouette to it? Some stamps are more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? That sort of design, they're blacked out. Solid, that's solid image, that's the word I'm looking for, solid. Whereas other ones like this, you can use for colouring in. It makes it bolder anyway, doesn't it? Um, not bolder as in stones, but bolder as in... <laughs> That's a nice boulder. The Shrek quote for you there. That is a nice boulder. I like that boulder. Remember that bit? Now the joy of this is because you're doing the outline, you don't have to worry too much about colouring in. You're just colouring in what's there. Um predisposed that's the big word Wendy did you mean you talk about the stamps being predisposed you talk about something else happy afternoon everyone says Cindy Fox Taylor we are the other extreme here oh what were we saying about the weather I know it wouldn't be me without a smudge right it's just part of the uh I've kind of made like that. I come with a smudge. Esther and a smudge. <laughs> oh dear. There, what do we think of that then? So, let's move it off. Oh, when you stand back from it, it's even more effective. When you're close up to it, it's quite... Um, let's just pop that on. I've got a funny blue mark there as well. That's on a bit of white. Um, I could cut it down a bit and have, have a little bit of black and white. That'll look nice. That's how Gina K did hers, actually, incidentally. <laughs> Just kind of been inspired tonight. That's okay. Um, I'm going to have to cover up these blue smudges. I think I'm going to go five and a half now. How much do I lose? Five and a, no, five and a quarter. I might just take a tiny little bit of the bottom. <coughs> And cut this top half to five and a quarter by three and a half. So again, I'm going to just take a smidgen off the side. See, that's nice. I think I'll do that. Okie dokie. Thanks, Wendy. I did it myself, my henna. Yeah. It's quite fun doing it. I want to do some more now. <laughs> okay, let's get um, some of this cut down. So that was three and a half, so we'll go to the next eighth of an inch, five and a quarter, and we'll go there. Am I right or am I right? Or a butterfly silhouette, or a dragonfly silhouette. I don't have any butterflies in my stash. 
Do you know that? I know. The only butterflies I do have are dyes. Might have to fix that problem. A dragonfly would look nice, wouldn't it? So the thinking of you is slightly askew. <laughs> oh, there goes a box. But, oh, have we got like a little, got this funny cluster of dragonflies, haven't we? Would that look a bit odd? If I put them in there, I think it would. Let's have a look. Let me just see if I can... Maybe a bee. If I put the bee on the on the blue smudge, Judy says she likes it the way it is. Says Esther going in with a bee. But now I feel like the bee might need to be silhouetted, what do I think? But look, there's a really obvious smudge under there. I think we can get away with the bee not being in a silhouette. But maybe some... Some embellies. Oh, excuse me. A nice drink. Or some more dotage. I was wondering about doing dotage with the pen. <clears throat> so you've got a mixture of dots. Still see it. <laughs> a very obvious line. <laughs> so let's have a look. We've got some black and bellies. If in doubt, then belly it out. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Hmm, no, it looks a bit odd. That's a bit better. Okay, there we go. How did I manage to get black on there when I thought I moved that out of the way? Crazy, crazy I say. Oh yes, the gold brush butterflies. You can't tap your pen on blocks as you broke a pen. Uh oh. You can flick the nib on the lid, but I don't, I'm not an advocate of that because, oh, have you seen what I've just gone and done? Where's my silicone mat gone? <laughs> Put glue all over it. Uh, yeah, it's not great for the nib, flicking it from the lid. Go. Nice, nice. 
The other thing that might be nice is actually pop this up, but I won't because it'll be a bit bulky. <laughs> Wendy says she must have got a bit too excited with it. Excited about adding the dotage. Thank you, Patty. Is this your first time here? Patty says, very pretty. Now, I'm wondering... <laughs> you know, more is more. But we to add some of these. And I can cover up my funny spittle mark. I'm very quiet because I'm just trying to concentrate. <laughs> Must run in the family. <laughs> there, nice, nice. Ah, well, welcome, Patty. Lovely to have you with us. Hey, Inika. Where are you coming in from, Patty? There, so they were dry. And get hard. Well, that just adds something else to the card. I like it. Right, let's do another. So, put my black paper down there. Minute. Let's try a circle. Circle. I've lost my masking. There you go. Big circle, little circle, little circle, methinks. So I'm thinking yellows and greens. Oh, Patty's from Florida. Welcome, Patty. Are you a stamper or a crafter? Or neither or neither? <laughs> Okay, yes, in my head I've got um, yellows and greens in my mind. So, hmm, I wonder about adding, I think that was supposed to be on my brown brush, which I've used for something else. It'll look a bit brown. Um, okay, let's, let's have a little play. So, if I get out some, come on, don't look. maybe orange, maybe a bit of calypso, oh, what about, maybe a bit of raspberry, oh, I'm changing my mind, maybe a bit of green on this side, a bit of pear. Okay, we'll see how we get on, shall we? Ah, oh, you're a stamper. Fabulous. Well, welcome to our community of stampers, crafters and people that are just along for the ride. <laughs> Rainbow colours, says Anne. That'd be a nice idea. So, I'm thinking yellow's here. So you might notice I have a mixture of blending brushes. I was kindly gifted these coloured ones uh, before Stampin' Up! came out with their own blending brushes that look like this. So I've just kept them. You love listening to me. Oh, well, that's kind. <laughs> I wish they all said that, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, dear. Hi, <laughs> Heidi. Ah, oh, take care. Don't do your back in. Be careful with moving your furniture, won't you? Um, did I just use the wrong green then? 
Can't remember. Are you moving furniture within the house, Jan, or are you just... You're not moving anywhere, are you? Ah, uh, you moved the mattress into the basement. They're making a sewing room upstairs. How exciting. I thought you were starting at 9, says Heidi. It's now 9.30, Heidi. <laughs> Where were you? Oh, nice tropicali colours. Feeling the need for a bit of yellow in it. Oh, and of course, get a free token smudge. I know, I started on time for once. Excuse me. Now I'm going to cut this down while I remember. What did we say? Three and a half. I've got it written on my... In case you're wondering how I remember, I've actually got it written on my trimmer. I'm not that clever. Mm, that looks a bit much. Smidge more over here. Smidge more over there. So three and a half by five and a half. Oh, no, not five and a half, five and a quarter. It rid gets rid of my smudge. Oh, it's like a fruit salad. Can you taste it, the fruit salad? Here it goes. Hello, that's nice. Got two fans going. I'm glad that you've got at least two people that like you. Ellie? I couldn't resist. <laughs> that's really sad. Um, I just... <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. Uh, we, could do, we could do dragonflies. Let's just move these out of the way. Um, I've lost them though. The dragonflies have flown away. But are we thinking like a bigger dragonfly in the middle? Like to take up the whole proceedings? Or are we thinking like that? Maybe a little floral arrangement down here. And maybe. Sentiment in there. I think so. Don't you? So let's get rid of the plate that's got the most stamps on. Stick them there for safekeeping. Let's have a look what we have here. A dragonfly, butterfly and bee, all endangered species, sadly. Are they really? do this in one batch and then it moved <laughs> it keeps there we go it keeps jumping 
that will do. Sorry, I know you can see the ring light reflection. Now, do we do it in black or in rich raspberry? Hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to go black because I was very tempted to do it in raspberry. But I thought we could just add some egg elements with the raspberry. Oh, I do have another hen on under my watch that my sister did because I wear my watch on there. Oh, Janice, Jan says raspberry just as I inked the black. <laughs> Typical. I'm sorry, I really was drawn to that, but I just thought, oh, actually, I can mount it on some raspberry card and do some raspberry dotage. I hope that's acceptable. Nice and dark, except the wings. Let's just, that's better. Let's go in for one more of the dragonfly. Make it nice and dark. Yes, nice. Okay, what we can do though, Jan, is I'll give you a bit of wink, okay? <laughs> we'll wink up the wings. And this quite often, um, what's the word, reacts with the ink that's on the paper. So you get this nice kind of painterly look. Okay, so the ink is still it's a bit wet, so it's picking up on the black a little bit, but never mind. It just look like grey wings. Okay. Oh yes, and it's really bad in some countries. Oh dear. Uh, Inika's talking about the, pol the pollinators are endangered too. So everybody, use stamps with those animals, get the message out. Plant scented flowers for them, don't cut all the nettles and help those pretty little critters. Miss, my hand is up, please, may I leave the room? Uh, Ellie, I hope you've got a good excuse. You can only go if you need to use the little girl's room. <laughs> don't make me use my teacher voice. <laughs> so let's splat some wing cotton. Make it really nice and sparkly. And then I'll get some wazzleberry. No, this is blackberry bliss. We'll get some wazzleberry. No, it's a razzleberry actually. I'm just being silly. I'm gonna knock a bit of that on the head. And we will get some. No, that's Cajun. Calippo, as in Calypso, coral. Over there. Then we will get some... Hmm. No, I don't think I want that colour. I want some... Give me some light Calypso coral and I'm going to just... Oh yeah, that nib is really healthy. <laughs> Got lots of fireflies, how exciting. Sally Jo says, we've planted our garden with loads of wildflowers and have a load of bees and have seen quite a few dragonflies too. On my, on my phone, I took a photo of a bumble, I was taking a photo of a bumblebee. Really bumbly bumblebee, you know the ones. And uh, basically it's a picture of his bottom. <laughs> but it's so cute and furry. That's my new screensaver for my phone, because it's rather cute. That's nice, I prefer the flowers coloured in. You've heard nettles are good at helping them, is that what you're saying? Um, I love that card, says Inika, thank you. Um, so... 
thinking. Okay, let's do a bit of a... Where's Raspberry? Raspberry, where are you hiding? I know you don't come up much, but where are you hiding? There you are. So we'll mount it on a bit of Raspberry. Mm. Too small. <clears throat> so three and three quarters. Five and five and a half. And that's in inches. And then I tend to cut to the middle. Save on card. And on bulk. So we've got buddleia in our garden and I chopped it right back in spring and it's literally tripled or quadrupled in size. It's got lots of buds on at the moment which is lovely so it's really attracting the bees. That's nice. I like that. Okay and then not finished yet folks, not finished, nearly. I'm going to make this my last card for tonight. Look, I still made it to 14 odd minutes. It's because I'm too busy chatting to you lot. <laughs> um, excuse me, leaning over. I grab a piece of card. Oh, I like this one. So easy to do, get yourself a shape. If you don't have the masking paper, um, post-it notes will do a very similar job. The great thing about masking paper is you don't tend to catch the edges, whereas if you use post-it notes, you sometimes can catch the edges. Right, not done yet, nearly, but not quite. I'm going to... See what I've got in my box. Might use these up. <clears throat> and the flower centers. Oh, that's a bit too big. I've only got three, so we'll go for the three middle ones. Okay, that'll do donk. Then... <laughs> Look, one lonely black one, we'll get that one used. Thank you, Vicky, for putting up the details. So there is a promotion at the moment called Celebration. With every £45 spend, you get some free product. They've just recently added to that deal, and you can get even more. There's even more on offer. So don't miss out on that. Um, should I use black? I was going to use the pearls, but let's use some more. Sorry, I got distracted by this tiny little flower. Flower. There's a little bug on my box. Can you see it there? <laughs> it's just running around like a little lunatic. And it was distracting me. So, <laughs> it's my little stamping friend, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. Easily distracted me. Right, where were we? Yes, promotion. <laughs> They've added some more things to the deal. So you can check that out on my online shop, stamminstarcreations.co.uk. Oh dear. It's back. Can you, can you see it? It's off there in the summer. A 
it's <laughs> just occasionally and making an appearance. There you go. Um, oh, thank you, Vicky. To support me, you can out, uh, to keep stamping and outside of her area, you can PayPal me at PayPal me dot. Uh, PayPal me forward slash stamping star creations. Thank you. And that's if you do want to support me mon monetary, then um, that's probably the best way to do it because um, I get more than money. Whereas if you super chat, then um, YouTube takes some of the money. But sometimes I can understand that's quicker and easier, and that's okay too. So from my friend and <laughs> oh dear. Talk about some of you being a lazy gardener. Excuse me. Yeah, don't talk, don't talk to me about my garden. It's a bit of a uh, bit of a mess, it's part, especially after leaving it for a week. Okay, let's bring these cards back. There we go. And this is what we've made tonight. You can place your votes. Um, B or D, as in B or dragonfly. But dragonfly is going to take too long to type out. So B or D. <clears throat> now I'm wondering whether it's, it's probably not worth saving these I might be able to but sometimes what happens if you use them for blending it picks up the colour and it can smudge your work so just bear that in mind um, okay the votes are in both gorgeous says Patty Judy French is the bee stunning both says Anne uh, both really pretty, says Sally Joe. Both, says Jan. A for Ellie. I think I did that as a different layer, didn't I? <laughs> B for Enneka. Both for Wendy. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. <laughs> I'm trying to disguise it. Margaret says she thinks they're both beautiful and lovely. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, quite a simple thing tonight, but you know, sometimes it's good to do simple. And it's a D from Vicky. <laughs> oh, as in Dragonfly. Sorry, I'm with you. <laughs> I thought you were choosing the one that wasn't there, Vicky. That's why I'm laughing. Both for Pamela. Naveen says both. <laughs> in capital letters. Thumbs up, says Anne. Both for Subu. Thank you, folks. Thank you ever so much. Thank you for your 19 thumbs up. You are very welcome. I'm. It's a pleasure to share my talents with you, and it keeps me going, to be honest. It keeps me doing what I'm doing, because it gives me, incentivizes me to think of new ideas and to share them with you. And it's always, always lovely to have the company. So if you want to catch me again, I'm usually on your screens at this time, Tuesday, 9 o'clock. So... <laughs> oh Jan, thanks Esther, you always make me smile, she says. Bless you. Good, good, I'm glad it's that and not making you frown. <laughs> so I'm just going to let this, is it going to dry grey? I think it's got like a grey, like a granity colour, it'll dry the little drops. Nice to be with you all tonight, says Ellie. I second that. I've just noticed Levine's changed her profile picture, haven't you Levine? <laughs> so um I might have mentioned this last week or the other week but I'm having a troubles loading my Facebook um videos to YouTube at the moment because they've changed gone and changed it and I need to figure out how to download them again so Wendy I don't know if you have got any tips but I used to do it through um M basic um but if you want to see what I made today um <clears throat> excuse me stretching over uh, this is what I made today over on Facebook, so you can check that out in the same channel name, Stampin' Star Creations. This was a video that went live recently, so you hopefully you can see the 3D-ness. And once again, I'm going to apologise for the card that I did video, and <laughs> I didn't realise that I didn't turn down the volume when I recorded it. I was in a rush to get it edited, and I did it ages ago, and I didn't even check it. So... Um, sorry for the card that I made using the B set which was uh, like a bronze colour with turquoise because you hear like all the background noise so I'm really sorry about that but I can't go back and fix it so just to warn you if you're watching that B then D says Claire 
as soon as you stop the video, it says download on the end screen. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm logged in as a bit like under the business under the page. Um, I don't think it gave, it gave me that option. I'll have another look next time because once it's finished, I don't know if I could then go back to it. So thank you so much for joining me. Take care. Do subscribe and press the bell and hit the all. It'll give you notifications of lives and of um, any videos that are uploaded. If you have got the app called WhatsApp and you want to be notified via WhatsApp, I send a little message. Um, it's called a broadcast. So I've got your list of numbers and I'll just send the message out. Nobody else can see your number except for me. Uh, but if you want to be added to that, then let me know. Sampensalcreations at gmail.com. Take care, everybody. I'm really happy about this. This um, the, uh, the camera looks good bit too clear and <laughs> no glitching tonight yet so that's good all right Mwah. take care lots of love to you all thank you so much for joining me it's nice to see you all again virtually bye jan take care <laughs> make sure fred doesn't work you too hard <laughs> bye lovely teamies bye everybody lots of love bye